Hey, thanks for joining me again. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt, and welcome to the Weekly Dirt, a weekly series I put on every Sunday where I bring you the best of what our metal detecting world has to offer. I'm going to show you some cool finds, introduce you to some great channels, and tell you about events and giveaways going on right here in the metal detecting community. Let's go check in with one of my favorite channels, Loy over at Digging with Seven with Tennessee Jeff. I'm telling you, always something to watch, always something to learn. Check it out this week from Digging with Seven. Me and Jeff are out and uh, got an old rock wall right here. It's next to a wash and uh, on the old map we see a house right in there that Jeff had found. Dug a shield out. In camp, something another. I can't tell anything about it. Look. Don't know if you can see it or not, but it says annual state militia encampment. This badge says on the front, annual state militia encampment. And on the back, manufactured by Swab S and S Company, Milwaukee. Here's a similar non-dug state militia badge, which dates to 1895 and shows a militia man standing between two tents. Due to the similarity, I would conclude that this badge is also from the late 1800s. Evidently, this badge was for what appears to be an annual reunion encampment for veterans of the Tennessee militia. Got a ring right here. Man, this place is full of trash and everything. I was hoping it was going to be gold, but it's not. I'm not going to do too much. That's a lady's ring, isn't it? It's awful wide to be a lady's. You think? It's not fur trade. Oh! Is it iron? Mm-hmm. Cool beans. That is an old key right there. Boy, always on the cool finds, always on the history, always teaching us something. I'm telling you, what a great channel, everyone. If you're not a fan, links down below. Go check them out. Digging with Seven, go give them a big thumbs up and become a subscriber of Digging with Seven. Go check them out. Hey, let's head over to Florida and check in with Relic Hunting Florida, another great channel. Watch what he was up to this week. Check it out. Relic Hunting Florida. All right, folks, it's a beautiful morning. Tropical storm just passed through, and we're out and about. I see what looks like a ring in the bottom of the hole. Very, very deep. Right in the bottom of the hole here. Grab it. Here it is. It's either a shotgun shell or a ring. Oh, I hope it's a ring. Oh, it is a ring. All right, I'm gonna have to clean this up. This is probably another uh, ring, wedding ring. All right, I'll get back with you. All right, there you have it. It does have a break in the band, so it is a ring. It looks like an old brass, just men's simple wedding ring. It would have been gold plated. Whoa, -ho, fancy, fancy copper, folks. Oh boy. Beautiful. That's like awesome. Oh my word. <sighs> that is one freaking fancy button. Good lord. Good night. That thing is fancy. Oof. I love it. The only thing would make that better is if it was military, but it's not. Beautiful. I just found the tiniest little fancy thing you ever have seen. I just don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ah, the wind. Super fancy though. Hey, you know, he's always on the great finds, always doing digs just like that. Finds just some killer finds all the time. Gotta go check out his channel, links down below. Go over there and give him a look. Relic Hunting Florida, 
Great job, man. Hey, let's go head over to Virginia. That's right, I'll be heading there this weekend for Digging in Virginia. Let's go check in this week with VA Coin and Relic. Watch this. Come up here, got in the guy's yard, and look at this, guys. I've never found one. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I have no clue. I mean, I know it's a buckle. I know it's probably Civil War. Holy cow. Oh my god, it's CS, guys. That is a CS. Oh, I think so. Holy cow. Good God Almighty. Hopefully the other half's here. Can you put a CS tongue? All right, guys, real quick. I just got an 84 signal in this hole. Just popped a positive. It's going to be like a fake, fake ring. Uh, pretty stain in it. I'll look it up later. I'm pretty sure it's just copper. I just dug this. I forget what it rang up. But look what I see, guys. It's it's a U.S. collar disc, I believe. The only reason I, I mean I can just yep. Oh man, but look, the back is broke. The back is broke. Yeah, we got a threaded piece. Check that out, man. Remember being convex like that? Maybe that went on a hat. Wow, are you kidding? A CS wreath buckle? Are you kidding? That's an amazing find. Boy, I hope you're able to go out there and find the other part of it. The wreath, that would be awesome. But amazing discovery. That in the US pen? Are you kidding? Everyone head on over there, give them a look, and become a fan of VA Coin and Relic. Link's going to be down below. Go give them a big thumbs up. Say congratulations on that buckle, man. What a find. Great job. Hey, there's a cool giveaway going on. You like silver? I'm telling you, how about 10 ounces of silver being given away by an NH Beach Metal Detecting? Try it, New Hampshire Beach Metal Detecting. Awesome channel doing an awesome epic giveaway. I'll tell you, got to go check it out. Giving away tons of silver. Link's down below. Head on over there. Follow all the rules and good luck. NH Beach Metal Detecting. Go check it out. Hey, Blue Line Archaeology, that's right, was on a great dig this week. Let's check in with him and see what he was pulling out of the ground. Blue Line Archaeology. Watch this. No one every line takes me back in time. For the night I'm wondering. And found me a cool car. I don't know how old it is. A little roadster. All right, found this gold chain today on a surface find and it's stamped Let's see if I can get that show up it's stamped 14k and as you can see it's staying sweet so I owe one because it looks like I got a ring. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's cool. I owe one because. Just take the whole thing with you. Take the whole thing with you. Man. That's awesome. I literally thought I was like clad dime. I'll go ahead and suck it up because that's what we've been sucking up today is clad. And I'm like. Sweet. I would definitely, I would definitely take this clump home and see if maybe it's in there. Yeah. That is a big setting. Well, I just got a coin spill, a 1950 nickel, three uh, wheat pennies, that, and a 1950 oh my silver. <laughs> and it only came up as one wheat signal, like 8081. That is insane. So. That's awesome. I feel guilty. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I've had my fair share. That yep. is awesome. He's got and two I've got two silvers, silvers right there. Three! Three! Oh, <laughs> yes. Three! oh, you may have more. You may have more. Is that a weed or are they all silver? They're all silver. They're all silver. 
Well, anytime you can find gold, it's just absolutely amazing as a metal detectorist, but then you also pull silver. Congratulations, everyone go over there, become a fan and check out his channel, Blue Line Archaeology, links down below. What a hunt, great job, great job. Blue Line Archaeology, go give him a look. Hey, if you enjoy this show and like being kept up to speed on what's going on in the metal detecting world, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. Check out these videos. I think you'll enjoy them. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. Have a great week. And I'll see you next Sunday.